Hi lovely people, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matters. I hope you had a lovely week just like I did. I am your host SK Gitonga. Thank you for tuning in. Our topic of today, we are talking about 15% taxation on content creators. Content creators are arguing that this is a bit too much for them considering what they are earning from YouTube and other social media platforms is not enough to cater for their needs. Also, this is more than what other professional services are actually taxed. On to our first question, do you think the 15% imposition of tax is fair for content creators? Let me know what you think in the comment section. I don't think it's fair because I feel content creators are just uh, majorly the youth trying to, you know, to do something with themselves and they literally have, they don't have much on their side. They're not like people who work and who, who earn a salary on a monthly basis. So I think it's really not fair. It's not fair because of the job that you have to do. The government has to job, so we have to get up. Na hapo nika tunatumia knowledge yetu atutumi kitu yote yenye ya hiyo si fair kabisa. No. Uh 15% is way too high. Um for the father it's the first time they are actually taxing content creators. They should have given something a bit lower just to get used to that. The proposed tax uh, is not fair. According to me it's not should it shouldn't be there yani ni ka kufinyilia content creators because i say wa medium employee waze ku like hakuna employment so you know unaweza find most of them are like engineers doctors but they couldn't find work so they decided to employ themselves so the gov the government shouldn't tax them how fake kufanya hivyo at all like ni kama kuguza like sijui kuguza whatever they are not supposed to be touching I'll give a very controversial answer and say yes, because um, tax is a source of revenue for the government. So whether we think about fairness or not, everyone has a duty to pay taxes. Okay. Um, so the government basically gets its revenue from taxation and from debts. Now, considering the position where, that the country is in now, um, we have to pay debt, the debt that we have. So that means that we have to collect more revenue so and again taxation is a source of revenue for the government so it is people should be taxed however um, considering how the funds currently are being mismanaged by the government it's also an iffy situation and I would understand why people would not want to pay their taxes yeah yes I think it's fair the reason as to I'm saying it is fair because uh, if you look at our country the president is going through a lot and he needs to raise taxes. So with all fairness, people should give money. These people are making millions of money. We see them each and every day. YouTube is giving them a lot of money. There are a lot of ads coming from their sites. So from where I see it, it's fair. Yes, I really support that. Imamboya tax, we have to be serious about it. Because in Kenya, na Kenya, ama dunia yote mali, each and every country lazima kukuwe na kitu inaitwa kuripa ushuru so maneno ya kuripa ushuru si ati ni maneno watu tunafaa tuulizane kama hawa wanafaa walipe ama huu wasilipe each and every person kwa ile kazi unafanya lazima kila mtu agaramike kwa maneno na ushuru kwa nini inchi lazima iko na budget hii budget lazima tutumie zile pesa tunachukua ushuru hizo ndio zinaweza kutukimu yani kama inchi kwa maendeleo zenye tunafanya kama inchi si ati kila time at sisi kama Kenya ni kukopa tu it's not a advisable ati hata wewe kwa boma yako hata wewe mzazi wako utafurahia sasa ile unasikia tu kutuma kwa mama fulani kwa duka fulani kwa kiosk fulani ati kila siku ni kukopa lazima tujitegemee na tulipe ushuru i don't think it's fair uh, reason being that uh, the government has not created any platform for these guys to do what they do. Yeah, if they had like created a, a platform for them to like generate what they're generating, then it's a uh, it's worth it to collect the 15%. Yeah, it's very fair. It's fair because uh, these content 
content creators, they show us the lavish life they are living, how they are earning, and most of them share screenshots of uh, the impesa balances. So I don't think it's a big deal if they get taxed. For me, uh, it's fair. Uh, the government is working so that everybody acquires ours. So I think uh, we should put faith to our president and uh, to support. I think it's a good idea to have a fact to tax. It's fair for me. I think it's fair um, because Utapata Kunale Watwenye are living lavishly uh, through content creation and uh, there are others when you bado wanadijenga. So these guys when you wanadijenga wakipata hawa wenye wako a bit higher than them, then they could advise them because I think a lot of youth atuna that financial uh, uh, wisdom or knowledge that to me ambiwa uh, with this money and you unapata through content creation, then how can you spend it and how uh, how to use it uh, to help you become a better content creator. So maybe tax, uh, the government taxing uh, these content creators, I think, is a good thing. But then you look at pesa inenda wapi. For example, to me pata kukona, these guys, um, Sakaja said that content creators waki to me Nairobi, they won't be taxed. Uh, um, uh, maybe uh, the national police. But then you find the national police wound on a kujana kushika pale, tapata sometimes on Sunday when gino ameshikwa na kanjo. But then uh, these are the little things that I think the government should look at before maybe taxing and uh, so that maybe uh, the content creation field in Ezakua in a letter a lot of money kama venye uh, maybe wildlife and all that in a letter. First 15% is so much. Hata kama unataka ku tax content creators, eka kitu kama 3% hivi ama 5% of which bado si poa. Yeah, so personally na object hiyo ku tax wase wenye wame wame wameenda kutafuta do out of their own initiative na cheki. Yeah, that's 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 my opinion on that. Ni fair because it's a job like any other job and uh, as the other people work and go hustle with their daily lives um, they also get taxed so I think it's very fair since they're also working to get taxed. I personally think that it's not fair because uh, many of the content creators are trying to make their ends meet and they're also not earning that much. As a content creator at the end of the month, how do you never sure in Ezakwani Pesamingi, Ama Pesaki Dogo? And then also considering this is their first time, maybe five or six percent would do, but fifteen percent is actually too much. To our second question, do you think content creators that are living a lavish lifestyle are prompting the government to imposing tax? Let me know what you think in our comment section at Y254 hashtag unfinished. Yes, uh, content creators who have advanced, who have done this for a long time, are definitely getting good money, I guess. So I think that prompts the government to now put the tax at 15% because they see that uh, there's a lot of money coming and they need to tax people, not thinking about people who have just started, people who have just decided, let me begin and tax equal to our poor. It's really hard. Tio kwanza enye gavina bidijue content creation ni kakipindi unacheki there is nothing real pale hivyo ni content creation ni kipindi yani nikikuja hapa na pesa imanishi hiyo kila kitu ni pesa hapo nikikuja hapa na gari maybe nimekomboa so gavina bidijue content creation ni art si ati nikipost kitu ni hiyo yeah I think they have earned it to that point. When you listen to most of the people, let's say Ambari, <laughs> she's come from far to get to the point she is. So she's enjoying her fruits and she's enjoying her, you know, her hard work. So I think it's fair to them to live how they want. Well, given the economy, yes, it could be the case. Yeah, like um, what's going around is that you pay as you live. <laughs> so probably that's the reason why. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think content creators should be should be like the the wale wamepata 
like wale wa big the ones who are big they should not try and uh, use the kind of money they get kwenye show set kona do they are supposed to be like kwenye show wale wase wanataka content creators that it can actually happen for them too but not try and uh, kind of ku kwenye how life no i think it's no managava probably na fikiria aswa kona do but on a far qual like um on a far collect the role models to upcoming content creators on the way forward i love what even jugush does by the way if you can listen to um podcasts in jugush na kwa featured in you can really listen to whatever this guy says he's a good content creator according to me and whatever he says is amazing he doesn't he doesn't prove to others trying to live a lavish life and all he's actually not living a lie yeah i would say yes because I mean come on like if you're out here and people can see that okay you're making money and the government wants to get money and raise revenue I think yes I would say yes and also yeah I would say yes definitely they have because you see like now the other day I saw another young man called Sidwe Vincent Mboy that guy Sidwe anasema ame make million yake moja anatuanikia kwa mtandao hata kama ni wewe president if mtu ana audacity ya kukuweka hiyo pesa kwa mtandao See now nyesha umtu ana live lavishly. The first thing we should train these young people is financial literacy. Some of us get a lot of money but we don't post. And the moment una expose hiyo pesa, gava lazima itakukujia. Financial literacy is important and they should be wise with their money. Don't get this little money and post it. As you see the president is going through a lot and we need to streamline this country. And the first thing is getting these taxes. So when they get their money invest siri siri don't get this little money then you post to us telling us that uh, i have made my first million so what what about a young man there akoshulia anaanza youtube channel yake anaona mwanzake you are not motivating him you are not enjoy your, ma- your money in success and that's why I support jalango by him saying that won't you amejiwekea hii mtego so with all fairness eh, don't don't show us how lavishly you are living people are go- some people are missing meals So by the moment you are starting telling us that uh, that uh, you are posting to us telling us that you live in apartment in Kileleshu you are telling us you have money <laughs> why are you resisting when they tell you to give us 15% yes so they they have prompted that and i propose the government should go ahead government haitaangalia biashara yako ndio ikwambie ulipe ushuru vile tu nimerudia vile tu nimesema hapo mbeleni nirudie tena ni mandatory kwa kila mtu alipe ushuru au watu tunaona kwa mitandao tunaona vile wanajichocha wengine wanasema vile wako nazo kwa nini ikifika ni maneno ya tax trainer wanahepa kwa nini wahepe wanajichocha ati sisi tuko na pesa lakini ikifika ni walipe ushuru oh sasa wanahepa it is a high time kila mtu walipe ushuru hata hii hao ndio watu hata wanaharibia rais wetu in fact wametengeneza memes here and there ya kuonyesha ati vile serikali yetu ina limp na sasa serikali italimp kama kila mtu atalipa ushuru I think some of them is just they're chasing cloud most of them they're just struggling at the end of the day you'll find if something happens they come to the public for them to raise money for them and yet you've been seeing them flaunting a lot of cash maybe they've been given this cash maybe to do something but they use that cash to flaunt but the other creators who have money genuinely those who have money they need to pay tax uh, just the way i answer the first questions these content content creators they show us their living lavish lives uh, and as i say do wanatonyesha easy screenshots zao some of them expenditure ya almost 2 million in a month so such things the government wakiona wanajua to uh, these people they have money you get they have money so at that point when uh, since these people have money it's okay for us to tax them actually um, no but nikikumbuka when the president said that njugush and they are making a lot of money even than my salary i think bado iko siko sure niko yes no lakini kama ni kama ni wao walifanya idj hiyo pesa yote tax but bado nimesema wanafaa kuona lipa tax yeah, so for me it's a, it's a no yes 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 i think uh, the push 
uh, maybe lifestyle where unapata mtu tu ako na simu nime nimesikia squeeze watu wakisema uki ukiwa na simu mzuri we post bana usikuwe na shida so but i think it's a, it's not right ju utapata easy ni pesa mtu labda ameomba ako na loan mahali lakini anazi flaunt tu hapo just to just for show but then if maybe ungekuwa na hiyo pesa yako umeenda uka invest mahali ndio maana anasema mambo ya financial knowledge uh, maybe atungekuwa where we are as content creators atungepata uh, the president anataka kutu tax not really because content creators have always lived a lavish lifestyle and kumekuwa na government mobs imekuja na zikienda na kuna yenye shay fikiri ya kutax sasa wana wana wanatengeneza content so I, I, I don't think so. It may, because the government may be so, uh, while others are living in hard times, Chinese it hard times, and the content creators are living very lavish lives, uh, maybe they thought, maybe to, to equalize, quote unquote, maybe they should be taxed to feel maybe the pinch the rest of the Kenyans are feeling. Yes, I would say yes because flaunting money online has become a trend that everybody is actually taking part in. But now the question is, do you think this money is real? Do you think the cars that they claim to own are actually theirs? You know, the government probably assumes that even the low content creators are probably making that much money. Let me know what you think. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.